Whoa! Ha! I wasn't expecting it to be spicy. Woo! Hey guys, it's Saturday morning, eight o'clock. I am just north of Aurelia, headed north, north, north. And uh, so I had to get up at 6.30, shave, shower, pack up the van, and uh, start to head north. And uh, first things first, I'm gonna hit up this Tim Hortons here, grab our large coffee. When I'm traveling in a car, and I have no control over the coffee. I like to, I, I normally drink black coffee, but in the car, I always ask them to put two creams in it because uh, it cools it down a little bit. So at least I can start drinking it right away. Nothing worse than having to wait a really long time to start drinking your coffee. And I think that it's a buck 20 here. 220, I mean. Marty, may I take your order, please? Uh, large coffee, two creams. A large two cream, is that everything? That's everything, thank you. That's 212, hun, come on up. Thanks. 212. They went down? Pretty much everywhere I thought it was 220. It's 215, because we round up or round down. Still got sleepies in the eyes. Ugh. Like the new shirt? <laughs> Hello, 210. Hello. 210? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's a different price everywhere I go. Thanks. <laughs> 210. When did it become 210? All right, guys, we are headed right now to North Bay. And if I have time, we're going to find a cool place to eat in North Bay. And, uh, and then head another hour to two hours north of that to a little town that I can't pronounce right now unless I have the word in front of me. It starts with an M. I'll put it right here. Rusty's breaking down. He's breaking down, Rusty. There we go. We're all set. Passing on one of my favorite gas stations. It's a dollar 42.6. Let us know in the comments below what the gas price is where you are from. Cheers. Uh, see if it's black coffee. Sometimes it's, just, it's too hot to hold, even with the sleeve. And then it's too hot to drink. But this is perfect. It cools it down just the right amount. I'm not sure if we talked about this in uh, the last video or the one before, but uh, as you know, sometimes my GoPro overheats, and uh, I discovered out why it's overheating. It's because the old GoPros didn't have any monitors on them. Then the GoPro started getting a monitor on the back. But again, when you're videotaping yourself, you can't see yourself. So they put one on the front. So now they have two monitors on. It's nice to be able to see what I'm doing for you guys when I'm holding up food and I can see if it's in the shot or whatever. So having them on all the time is, is beneficial, but when it's warm out and you have both things on the sun might be shining on the back of the GoPro it overheats and it shuts off but I, when I was shooting with my buddy um, Carl on the boat he has it so that in one minute like you can set up your shot you can see both monitors but after a minute they shut off so uh, plus it saves battery so um, I'm gonna be doing that from now on and just hope for the best when I'm showing you guys something so problem solved, hopefully, we'll see. Uh, now we're coming out of the hot months. Probably won't matter anyway. Just setting my cruise control. We got a long drive ahead of us, so let's get going.
It's now 9.45 and we are now in the area of North Bay and uh, we're about six minutes away from Burger World. We ate there last year and uh, we did like a big omelet breakfast and uh, so they have an all day breakfast. I'm not sure what time they start lunch and stuff like that but it's way too early for burgers and things so uh, let's drop by there and, and revisit and uh, enjoy another possible amazing breakfast. gonna do a uh, takeout so let's go over there right hi uh, can I do the Grand Slam please sunny side uh, let's go rye please oh you know what white yeah because you guys have the little peanut butters yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, oh dude thank you very much no, this awesome. morning this morning Say hi. How are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm gonna be cooking my dinner. I mean, my uh, breakfast. Which one was it? It was the one where you were eating the ramen bowl. You had your own bowl. Right? Oh, nice. Very oh, yeah. cool. That's awesome. Are you coming in to do a little review? Yeah, I'm doing your grand slam today. Oh, right man, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, grilled or seasoned deep fried onions? Let's do the seasoned ones, please. Any deep fried onions with those? No thanks. Anything else today? Uh, uh, yeah, that comes with a, a large coffee or? I uh, just comes with a regular coffee. Can I up it to large? Yeah, we just got the one side. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll just do that then. Thanks. Okay. Anything in the coffee at all, or? Uh, just black, please. Black? $12.42. Thank you. Back bacon or sausage, big beans, two eggs. That looks good, too. Eggs Benny with home fries. Yummy. Beef peanut butter jam on the side for your grapes? Yes, please. Strawberry, if you got it. Strawberry, yeah, sure. Any uh, homemade black boy sauce on the side? Any what? Homemade black boy sauce. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that napkins would be great. No cutlery. There you go. Thank you very much. Enjoy, okay? Thank you. That's all right, I got it. <laughs> Thanks. Food in your hands. Thank you. All right, guys, we are back in the car. Let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? That was kind of funny that that guy in there was just watching a video of mine this morning. I love it. Let's put out the placemat. Got the sun shining in. I might have to open a window if it's getting too hot in here. I don't normally eat breakfast, but when I'm doing videos for you guys, it's such a treat. And then to go into a place like this and somebody recognizes you, that's so cool. Love it. So we got our jam and then there's a sauce that he mentioned so this is a, a special sauce that they have for the breakfast i'm not sure what you're supposed to do with it you put it on your eggs i should have asked him i am going to open up a couple windows i think it's going to start getting warm in here let's just do a little bit there a little bit there and we're going to have to uh, always take the key out ever since i saw the episode on breaking bad Always do not put the key in the ignition. Bad things will happen. Let's open this up. Grand slam. That looks awesome. A typical like farmer's breakfast kind of thing. Let's go in for a close up. Okay guys, moving in on this grand slam here in North Bay at Burger World. I'm so glad I'm back. Uh, there is our black coffee. And then we've got those seasoned uh, potatoes, couple sausage, bacon down there. Just want to make sure it's in focus. Got some more bacon down here, I think. Nope, it's buried. Oh, there it is. It's over there. And then we have our two sunny side eggs, and they are getting squashed <laughs> by the potatoes. I'm not sure if I did that on the way out. Anyway, let's start eating. And of course, I got my peanut butter and jam and this sauce. It looks like, um, a tomato-based sauce. 
Let's give it a shot. And I'm guessing you're supposed to put it in the eggs or something. I don't know. Whoa! Ha. I wasn't expecting it to be spicy. Woo! Oh, killer! I'm gonna do it today. I don't normally put spicy things on my eggs, but uh, it's funny when you go into the United States, they always have like hot sauce on uh, the tables uh, at, in the restaurants at breakfast time. And I'm like, why is there hot sauce on here? We just don't do that kind of thing. I don't anyway in Canada here. Okay, we, we put a bunch under my egg there. I'm just gonna cap that because that is killer spicy, man. Woo! All right, open up the copy. Oh, they double uh, cupped it for me. I didn't see them do that. I would have said, no, it's all right, I got the sleeves. Ah, I already had a coffee on the way up, as you guys know. So I'm kind of double tapping that. The caffeine. I'm not gonna have a caffeine headache for sure tonight. Oh yeah, and I forgot about the toast. Where'd I put the toast? Oh, there it is. And I was gonna go for raw, but then I, I remember that these guys have Jif peanut butter, and this is a treat. And again, I don't do this too often, so I love treats. We're gonna be eating all this food today with a nice toasted, buttered, four pieces all together. Let's dig in. I'm gonna get a piece of sausage. Oh, there's ham on the bottom too. Let's just dig that out. It was two slices of ham, or I guess one slice of ham cut in half, but there's two of those in here. Talk about a grand slam. We got the bacon like that. The potatoes are falling out. Woo! Still hot. Okay. Let's do a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, uh, and that. So I got almost everything on there. We got the potato, bacon, um, of course, egg in there, and the ham. I think that's everything. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let me know if the price is right. So it's ten ninety nine before taxes. I know things here in Canada are expensive, but let me know how much a breakfast is in wherever you live. Okay. Again, something I don't normally do, which is putting a hot sauce on my egg so i've got an egg i'm cutting it into quarters come on come on there we go and i'm gonna add um some other food with that let's do a sausage piece of sausage anyway there we go hmm <sighs> it's not bad and chances are they make this themselves the way he he told me about it. I'm always trying to get everything in the same forkful. Put a little bit of hot sauce on that. Definitely changes the experience when you put a hot sauce on it. Obviously people here in Canada do that too. I just was never introduced to that ever in my life until I started seeing it in the United States. So let me know in the comments below, do you love hot sauce on your eggs? And, and that video I made in, um, uh, what state was that? Iowa. Uh, was it Iowa? Yeah, it was Iowa. So I did the um, that big truck stop place and uh, she asked me if I wanted a hot sauce. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Who does that? And a lot of people said they do. That was kind of cool. The things you learn as a YouTuber who eats food for a living. Again, I'm not a food critic. I'm a YouTuber who loves to eat food. Cheers. I love my job. <laughs> it's the best. Look at that sloppy mess. Jeez. Let's see if we can get some egg. I'm doing this one-handed here. Got some egg, bacon, sausage. Oh, yeah. I 
I was thinking about coming here on the way out. And as I got closer, I'm like, yeah, they're gonna have an amazing breakfast. I'm gonna love every part of it. And I'm so glad I stopped here on my way up north. Last night, I launched the video where I stealth camped in Collingwood. And I had to put that, I got up early in the morning after the day after I came back from Collingwood, got up really early in the morning and edited as fast as I could. I had a doctor's appointment about my wrist that I hurt when I was drilling into the side of the van. So a chiropractor appointment. So I had to go and do that, which took about an hour and a half off my day. And um, I, I needed to get this done and I needed to get that video out. And uh, I shot about two to three hours of footage uh, on that stealth camp. And I try to get it down as small as possible for you guys without taking out too much of the uh, things that I did. But every once in a while, and then re-watching that just to make sure you haven't done any mistakes, to re-watch a 45 minute video I have to like sometimes scrub through it really fast because I don't have 45 minutes to sit there and watch every single edit. So as I'm editing, I'm like kind of rechecking as I go and then sometimes I'll skip ahead, which is obviously a bad thing to do. And that's why I, whenever I do a close up, I have the audio from that camera and I have the audio from the iPhone. And sometimes I forget to pull the audio out of the iPhone. Uh, once I line it up, I use the two audio waveforms to figure out where they need to be. And I usually kill the audio on the iPhone. But uh, in that video, I forgot. And it was actually off by a little bit. Um, and then I forgot to edit out all the stuff about me talking about the price. So apologies. Stuff happens, especially when you're in a rush. Like I had to get that video out yesterday because today I'm going up north, so. But thanks to all the people that brought that to my attention. Um, I'll try not to let that happen again. Look at that bite. Okay, you can scratch it. You can sniff it. The rest is mine. Oh yeah, the hot sauce is good. I highly recommend it. One more bite and then we're on to the toast. With peanut butter and jam. So the town we're going to is called Metechuan, I believe it's pronounced. And we're gonna be at a camp called Horseshoe Island Camp. And uh, we're gonna be doing fishing over the next two or three days. And uh, so that's why I have to go all the way up north uh, to help Carl again on another video, uh, another filming of his show. So let's move on to this. And so I got up early this morning, shower shaved, and uh, try to get up here as quickly as possible to get some videos done for you guys. I love making videos for you. As you know, little Jiffy, little strawberry. I was gonna ask for two strawberries, but I'm like, no, I'll try to make it, I'll make it thin. We'll go thin on this. Here we go. Peanut butter, strawberry. What's your favorite combination? Peanut butter and strawberry is probably one of my favorites of all time right there. Blueberry is a pretty even with it. A nice homemade blueberry jam. Wow, that would be great. Yummy. If I was eating in the restaurant, I'd probably put like a whole peanut butter on two slices and a whole jam on two slices. Technically, I need two more. It's the way I roll. The coffee isn't half bad. It's quite good. Quite good. I'm going to load up the last piece of toast with all the leftovers here. Whatever is remaining. And there we go. See what I mean? Not enough jam left over for as much jam as I like on my toast. I should have, I was gonna ask for two, I should have. I have to remember that for the future. The future, I could go back in. That's not a big deal. So I'm just loading that up, and then we're gonna make a sandwich out of it. There we go, breakfast dessert. That's what I like calling it. I'm gonna finish the rest of this stuff off, and it's off to Matechuan. Again, I probably said that wrong. Last bite for all the one o'clockers. So as I'm sitting here eating in my car, there seems to be a homeless person uh, walking uh, 
on the island in the middle of the road and, and he's asking for people for change. Uh, I'm going to go over there and ask him if he needs food and uh, maybe we'll buy him um, the Grand Slam. What do you think? Let's do it. How you doing? Are uh, you hungry? No, but yeah. Well, can I get you something from the? Can I get you like a breakfast or something? Sure, that'd be great. Yeah. You want like a grand slam or just bacon and eggs or uh, pancakes? Just bacon and eggs. Right. Bacon and eggs? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Do you want yeah. something to drink too? Uh, coffee is the hour. Okay, just black. Double double. Double double. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Breakfast was fantastic. Lovely. Uh, the hot sauce was killer. <laughs> uh, there's a homeless guy out there, and I asked him if he's wanted, if he wanted some food. Okay. So he wants. Uh, I'm gonna get him bacon and eggs and a, and a coffee double double, please. Breakfast was awesome. Thanks, guys. Excellent breakfast. I'm guessing up. White toast and Yeah. Well, there was a homeless guy out there that asked me if he was hungry, so I thought I'd buy him some food. Do you think he wants the coffee as well? Or? Yeah, he wants a double double. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Can't eat two of those. Do you guys have like a, a tip pool? Yeah, well, we got the one for the kitchen there, and then they the one for the individual. Okay. Hey, kitchen guys. Here's a tip for you guys. Money going down. <laughs> Where are you moving on to after this place? It's Horseshoe Island Camp. Oh, yeah. Okay. So on the way up there, I'm like, gotta stop here. Very again. interesting job, man. He's it is very, very cool. Yeah, awesome. Very cool. Thank you. Have a good day. See ya. Have a great day. Hi. What happened to the guy that was standing here? Where'd he go? I have no idea. Jeez. I bought him some food, oh. but since he's not here, there you go, buddy. All right, thank you. So bacon and eggs and... Cool. Thank you so much. What's your name? Frank. Hey, Frank. Hope, hope you have a good day, buddy. Thank you. No problem. I, I was thinking the whole time I'm inside there waiting for the food, thinking that it was maybe taking a bit too long, but why would you, why would you leave? I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe you thought I was like a, a narc or something and I was uh, going to bust him or something. I don't know what why he'd want to leave when somebody offered to buy him food. Um, but luckily there was another guy there and he looked pretty happy uh, that he got some food. I, I saw him, he was already drinking the coffee and he left his post and he probably went to go find some shade to sit in and uh, uh, and enjoy his meal. I hope he enjoys it a lot. Um, yeah, that, that was kind of inspired to me uh, by Steve Wallace's um, wife who passed away about three Saturdays ago. And, uh, when Steve uploaded his video letting everybody know what happened uh, in there, he said, you know, if you wanna help, you know, give money to your local food bank, or if you see somebody's homeless and they look hungry, buy them some food. He said him and Jess, and Jess would do this, she would buy, uh, she would make up a bunch of bags with water and some food and socks. And every time they saw a homeless person um, or somebody in need, uh, they would go to them and give them this this um, care package. So this this little situation was inspired by um, Jess, who unfortunately passed away three weeks ago. Uh, again, um, shocking news, and uh, feel real bad for for Steve. He's a good guy. Just hit a million subscribers. And then a week later, his wife passes away. It was tragic, tragic news. Anyway, so hopefully we did some good today and fed somebody. He's off in the shade over there eating, which is great. So I don't know where the other guy went. I walked around for a bit looking for him. Anyway, all right, let's get going north.
made it to Manachuan. Very pretty, very isolated. Very few homes and buildings over there. Of course, there's the main bridge. I think this is called the Montreal River. Not 100% sure about that. Very nice water, very clear. But it's got that tea color to it. Look at that river. This is a nice floating dock. Let's go check out some more of this town. Carl's not here yet. Montreal River. little houses I'm not 100% sure if there's a like a little downtown core or at all or looks like there's something up ahead he's got his wood for the winter there's a local skateboard park, possibly uh, arena too, or at least looks like they can make a hockey rink out of that in the winter time. And there's a place here called Town Center Restaurant. On the map it says ZZZ Eats. It doesn't say that on the door. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it says that right there. Huh. I'll look it up, see what they got in the menu. Back out to the main road. Not a whole lot of activity going on. There's a little ice cream shop up here. We'll check it out. Ice cream. They have bagged ice, burgers, fries. One of those office buildings, portable ones, like a trailer. Turned it into an ice cream shop. Cool. Hungry? I am. Hi. How are you? Oh, you like this shirt, right? Uh, chocolate, vanilla, s'mores galore, white chocolate wonder, Algonquin canoe. Hmm. How are you? How are you? All right. What's the Algonquin canoe? So it's like uh, French vanilla bean ice cream with some maple and little chocolate canoes inside. Really? Yeah. Um, what about Bigfoot? Bigfoot. Have you ever had moose tracks before? Yes. It's the same, but it's just a different name. Okay. For legal purposes. For legal purposes. And the s'mores galore? S'mores galore tastes like a s'more. Okay. Crackers, what, marshmallows, chocolate. What, what's the most popular? Mm, most popular thing is big. Or Algonquin canoe. It's a pretty good mashup. Yeah? Let's go Bigfoot. Bigfoot? And what, uh, I guess you just like one, two, three scoops kind of thing? Yeah, or? I can only put three scoops on the phone any more than that. Yeah. It's just asking for disaster. Right. Yeah, actually, could I do like three scoops in a bowl? Yeah. Thank you, or a dish, or? A cup, this A one. cup, that's a great, yeah. that's a good. Anything else? Yeah. And you have milkshakes too? I have milkshakes, I have lemons, I have floats. Wow. Actually, you probably can't see it because my window <laughs> Check that out. Oh boy, we have slushies, milkshakes. You know what, I'm gonna do a, a banana milkshake and then one scoop of Bigfoot, one scoop of Algonquin. Is that cool? Cool. Let's do it. Okay, 1070. Thank you. 
This five dollars back would be great. Oh, thank you. Welcome. There you are. There'll be about five minutes for the milkshake, and I'll scoop your ice cream right away. Sure. So that's the ice cream area, and then over here we've got food. Tax is not included. Platter. Cheeseburger, bacon cheese, chicken burger, thunder crunch. What is a thunder crunch? Mmm. Poutine. Nice. What's a thunder crunch? Hi. A thunder crunch is a chicken burger with sriracha sauce, wow. cheese, bacon, onion ring, lettuce, more sauce. Wow. There's Carl and his awesome boat. Wow. Thank you. Milkshake will be ready soon, okay? Excellent. Yikes. So the top one's the canoe? Top one is Bigfoot. Bigfoot on top, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bigfoot on top. Oh yeah. Big huge chunks of chocolate, like little um, Reese's pieces, or Reese's cups. Mmm. -hmm. I should have just done, yeah, we used to peanut butter cups. It was awesome. Ooh. So cold on the teeth. Wow. So far, Bigfoot's amazing. Melting all over the place. Let's see if I can bite a big chunk of this uh, Gonkun canoe. It's on my nose. Mm. Gonkun canoe is nice too. What a beautiful day. Starting off with some amazing breakfast, then some dessert here. Great, thank you. I'll take that for a minute. <laughs> this is great. Can't figure out which one tastes better. They both. Yeah, I do like peanut butter, so I think Bigfoot will probably be my choice. Hot caramel, chocolate swirling on top. Mm. And all the, I guess all the chunks just go to the bottom. Well, I kind of blend them up, so it kind of just opens up the flavor. Oh, okay. And I put a little bit on top. Well, mm. enjoy. I will, thank you. I've got to check out that milkshake. Hang on. My ice cream cone. No, don't fall, please don't fall. This is hard to do with one hand. I did ask for a bowl, but oh well. It was dynamite. Let's go for that banana milkshake. I haven't had a banana milkshake since I was a kid. Is that real banana in there too? Is that real banana or flavor? No, flavor. Flavor, okay. You can kind of taste the flavor. The artificial flavors with a banana. So I thought it was gonna be a real banana. I'll take that off next time. Anyway, guys, I gotta get going. Gotta finish this up. And Carl and I gotta go to uh, Horseshoe Island Camp and get some shows done for Carl, right? So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.